97.7 Dundalk FM Town Talk Yes, beautiful stuff there. That is the 251s and a track called Sparks. That's from their album uh, Slave to the Moon. I'm delighted to say we're joined by one half of the 251s as Tara McGowan. Tara, you're very welcome to Town Talk. Thanks very much, Pat. Great, great to have you. Uh, Sparks, tell us a little bit about that song. Oh, um, well, I suppose it's a personal song to me. I uh, would have written that probably back in 2010. In the car. In the car, as yeah. right earlier. Yeah, yes. yeah. I, I have a tendency to write songs in the car. The car or the shower. So either oh, either one. You're just a very wet In paper. my bubble. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, don't write it down. All in the head. It's uh, when you're in your bubble, your own space, yeah. and you have it to yourself, obviously not with other people in the car, but um, just... Yeah, it just um, I was driving up to Dublin a lot at that time to see my mother who was ill and um, it would have been every weekend. And yeah, there were, it was just sort of bits of it came to me and it kept coming to me every time I was driving up and down, but unfinished mm-hmm. and gradually and eventually I finished it. And um, it's it's really it's about... I suppose generations, it's about my mother and about my daughter and me and just sometimes you have them little conflicts where you're you're crabby with each other but <laughs> uh, then you kind of realise that love runs through it yeah. anyway and also I suppose it's that looking looking back at my daughter and thinking sure I was like that myself <laughs> you know <laughs> uh, and, th- and then no more than that thinking of my mom because all of us kind of have the same genes we look quite like each other right, so okay. it, there's that thread of uh, genes running through beautiful, it and beautiful. That, that's did why. your mom ever get to hear the song no 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 sorry. no she she died later that year in 2010 oh, sorry, and, um, and your daughter what does she think yeah, no, she's okay with it. <laughs> she was only about eleven or twelve at the time, and of course now she's she's twenty five now. Or 20, wow. Yeah, so so that kind of yeah, and she does sing with me as well. Sometimes she's actually on the album. Yes, uh, she's on the track. what's her name? Evine. 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 Yeah. Beautiful stuff. So it's in the genes, uh, as I say, the singing is, is, is in the genes. Two five ones. Uh, you've been busy. You, you were back in the Tin Church. Uh, uh, was it thirteenth uh, of July? Yes, it? it was just last Saturday. Last Saturday. Yeah, yeah. how'd that go yeah, for you? It, it was great. It in was church in Lara. In Lara in Monaghan. Can you describe the place to me? Oh my God, it's just heavenly. It's it's this wee tin church that is. It's kind it's of literally a tin. church. It is a tin church. Um, if you were going, I suppose, from Bally Bay to Cartmacross Cross or Cartmacross Cross, Bally Bay, that's the easiest way I can uh-huh. describe how you get to it. It's a turn off. But the address is Castle Blaney. So it's a tin church that's up kind of on a rock. So it's up high. When, you see, when you're driving along, it's up there. You have to look to the side upwards. Yeah. And inside is all lovely wood panelling and beautiful stained glass windows in it. And... Uh, my my knowledge now I'm trying to remember the whole thing of it but basically it was flat packed over from Switzerland back in the 1800s wow. by um, and I don't know the person's name but they had the the flax mill in Lara at the time the owners of the mill and so when he got married the wife fell in love with all these churches over in Switzerland so he flat packed it back and diverted the little stream that goes around it. So that's also beautiful. There's a little stream goes around yeah. it. He diverted that and it's up on the rock and it was restored there. Um, it's from about 2010. It was restored. And does, so, was it yeah. functioning as a church? Um, it was functioning as a church originally. But um, and there are a couple of graves outside it, you know, maybe uh-huh. about four. Right. But um, that's the family, of course, of the people who built it. But um, yeah, I think it was around twenty thirteen. It was finished the restoration of it from Lara Heritage, and um, I'd, like in a previous job, my other hats that I wear in a community development hat, I did have a little bit to do with the restoration, just a very small bit, in bringing in someone that helped restore some of the windows. So, so it's historical. Yeah. It's beautiful. It's a special place for sure. And for playing yeah. music, and what's it like? The acoustics were just fabulous. So now it's not tin tin. It's oh no no no. It's <laughs> inside yes. so that was our third time playing there as the 251s yes. and you launched the, the album Slaves in the Moon there didn't you we did yeah, last yeah. year it was actually the 22nd of July last year with Charlie McGettigan launched yeah. it and he's on the album of course and has co-written two songs with myself so 
<laughs> so going back again, it was a, a going back to a place that you love. Uh, and uh, did you do the speakeasy thing that you've done before, or what was it like? Yeah, it was kind of yeah. It it, it was. Um, like I always like to go the cabaret style is cabaret lovely. style okay. yeah yeah and uh, no there was nobody dressed up in 1920s or anything no. this time no. okay and um, it was more like just cabaret style set out and got me the full house and it was just it was just lovely and thanks to everybody who came we got a standing ovation which I was gobsmacked with it was just and actually the, there's a resident dog which was kind of very funny <laughs> a resident the do- dog the dog is just wandering around trying to rob the sandwiches from the coffee coffee dog <laughs> outside because they, they set up an awning kind of and underneath it is um, buns and coffee and stuff right. from uh, a lady from uh, Monaghan comes out Barbara she has a coffee shop in Monaghan comes out Beautiful. and puts it there so you can get your lovely buns and your coffee or you could bring a bottle but they don't advertise that they don't advertise um, that. Okay. yeah they don't advertise that uh, but some people did but uh, yeah so the dog is just wandering around and sometimes robbing the odd bit off the stall just to watch it and, and at one stage I'm singing next thing I'm getting tail whipped to the back of the legs I'm going what's going on I just keep singing you know but um, of course the audience were, having, were amused were amused uh, Dara, for, we've heard Sparks there earlier from State of the Moon and we, we of course have played 251s on, on the show but for somebody who hasn't heard the 251s and are thinking of going to a show what, what, would, what would they expect what's the set like so we I suppose we started myself and Andy Hogg just mention Andy because he's not Andy, here yes. yeah, and Andy's the guitarist the, the other and, half. The, and the other half but of you the do duo. get the others joining you from time to time we do yeah yeah. but generally it's myself and Andy yeah. and then we have special guests come on like we did in the Tin Church with yeah. two extras there two extras I don't want to call them extras <laughs> guests guests would be the right word um, yeah so if you came to the show like originally what we set up as was doing jazz standards jazz and blues standards vintage jazz and blues basically and gradually then we seeped in the original the original songs into it which makes us different I mm-hmm. suppose because they were original as well as having this kind of step back in time to 1920s 30s 40s 50s Oh you're writing the original songs are they in the mould of the jazz blues classics Yes yeah, some are obviously Sparks isn't um, oh. but um, some of them are definitely there's some that are bluesy or swingy and if, or jazzy and just depending on what the mood is I suppose or whatever <laughs> mood you're in um, whether you're in a blue mood or, or a swingy mood but um, yeah so it, it is kind of you, you do if you come to the gig you get uh, lots of original songs but then you also get thrown into that mix you might get from Billie Holiday Ella Fitzgerald uh are even going up to Bonnie Raitt kind of for a bit of blues and okay. um, so it kind of varies yeah but but definitely there are a lot of I, I just love the whole era and obviously Andy does too that's how we ended up playing together and um, that whole 1930s 40s then them old musicals and Brilliant love stuff. that whole era. So, so you're yeah. going to be playing in Dundalk soon. Do you want to tell us about that gig coming up? Yeah, we're excited about that. So um, we're going to be in Tolls in Crow Street and that's Thursday next week. So it's actually this Thursday day the 25th. Week. Yeah, this day week we're in Tolls and um, it starts at nine o'clock. It's a free gig, guys. Free come on gig. in. So uh, yeah, this is a, this is a freebie for everyone to come in and enjoy us. And if you haven't heard us before, it's a nice opportunity. And um, we'll be playing from nine o'clock. We have a guest uh, supporting us, and that will be Elena Duff. She's from. Uh, is she from? She's from Baileyborough Bailey in okay. Cavan, and uh, then then about half nine we're on. So. Okay, and you're mm. at the the front of, of tolls. The front, yes, yeah. yeah, the, the fireside, fireside session. Exactly. So Far- it's something that happens every Thursday in there. And, and this will be just just half nine. This is the pure two five one. Oh, this no, is no, pure no. two five yeah. ones this time. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to ask that a new catchphrase: the pure two five ones. The pure two five <laughs> ones. And the set in tolls will it be uh, just what you described there a few minutes ago, or uh, yeah, be mainly our own, I think. And then because I think they do kind of go on singer songwriter sort of. So we yes. we will we will play probably a few of our own dotting in a few other things along the way that people might recognise so if you don't know any of our music then we we, you know we do do a few kind of dot in a bit of Billie Holiday or a bit of Ella Fitzgerald or whoever uh, along the way yeah and you have another gig coming up in the dock later on this year um, 
when is that or where's that oh, right, right to the end of the year Pat yeah, uh, right to the end in, of the year in, um, we're going to repeat our, our gig in the uh, Oriel Centre which is Dundalk Jail exactly and we played there last November so we're going back because it was such fun mm-hmm. and that will be on the 23rd Saturday the 23rd of November so get your glad rags now ready <laughs> this, this is going to be a speakeasy night and last year we kind of put it out there that you can dress up or just come as whatever you dress wear your own whatever style yeah. but a lot of people did dress up. They went the whole hog and were dancing up the front. And when you say everything. dress up, what were they wearing? They were wearing 1920s flapper gear. They were wearing <laughs> trilby hats and braces, the men. And, you know, so... so it, lots of photographs and selfies and stuff like that yes, going on. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, like, they really got into it. And then the people who didn't dress up were like, I didn't know you had to dress up. I wish I'd have known. I would have dressed, you know. <laughs> so, I mean, it's not strict. You can dress if you want. Like, we, we do another gig like that back at my own house we have I have a barn and we do it wow. and everyone dresses up that's a strict dress up <laughs> but in the jail it'll be whatever you want but it'll be 1920s to 1950s we usually say so you get nice nice uh, swing dresses and everything coming in it's lovely Brilliant and stuff. that's the kind of music we go well, you'll have to remind us that's in November so it's a, oh, a long way away again. I'll so be back in again to, to, to remind people to get their gear but ready the main thing is two five ones are happening uh, on Thursday the 25th yes. next Thursday uh, in Tolls, in Tolls. Yes. For a fireside session with uh, Alina Duff uh, at nine o'clock and the two five ones about half nine for there thereabouts. Yeah, Elena and it's Duff. free. It's free. It's free. Yay. I, I actually knew a band many years ago, and they, they called themselves Free Beer, and they, they put the poster up outside <laughs> the, the bar that they were playing in, and <laughs> so everyone they had to change the name. It didn't. It didn't suit the bar. The pubs would probably be. <laughs> the pubs were not happy. <laughs> no, no. Uh, we're going to have to hear something else from the two five ones. Do you want to pick a song and tell us a little bit about the song? Um. Yeah, why not uh, Shadow in the Sun? Shadow in the Sun. Um, Tell us about Shadow in the Sun. And I I suppose that might be a good one to pick simply because we have John Cosgrove guesting on that, uh, who's a saxophonist, and he played with us in the Tin Church. And he plays on this one uh, soprano sax. So it's a nice swingy one. It's a contrast to Sparks, I suppose. Okay, well, there you have it. 251s and Shadow in the Sun. Thank you very much to Dharma. Thank you very much. 97.7. Dundalk FM Town Talk